Singapore's Minister for Foreign Affairs Vivian Balakrishnan has told Israel's leaders during his working visit to the country that its actions in Gaza have gone too far. He also called for an immediate ceasefire for aid to flow into Gaza swiftly. Expressing Singapore's deep concern with the dire humanitarian situation, said the Ministry of Foreign Affairs MFA in a statement on Wednesday, March 20. While in Israel on Tuesday and Wednesday, as part of a 10-day working trip to the Middle East. Dr. Balakrishnan met with Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu and President Isaac Herzog, among other officials. During their meetings, he expressed Singapore's sympathies to all the families affected by the Hamas attacks on October 7, 2023, while he pointed out that what happened on that day was a clear, flagrant, heinous act of terror, he also spoke about the Israeli military actions that followed. In a doorstop interview in Israel on Wednesday, Dr. Balakrishnan said, but where we have a difference with Israel, particularly, and that is why the discussions today have been, I would say, candid, frank, sometimes even brutal. If need be, where we have a difference is, we believe that the Israeli military response has now gone too far. I have communicated that both to the Prime Minister, to the Foreign Minister, and to the other Israelis whom we have met. Calling for the safe, unconditional and immediate release of all civilian hostages from Gaza, he also hoped for an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. Ceasefire talks between Israel and Hamas are resuming in Qatar's capital this week, after Hamas' counterproposal last week was rejected by Israel. The two sides have been discussing a six-week truce, which would see about 40 Israeli hostages freed in return for hundreds of Palestinian detainees in aid to be sent to the Gaza Strip. Hamas' October 7 attack on southern Israel has resulted in the deaths of about one. 200 people, mostly civilians, according to Israeli tallies. More than 250 hostages were seized. Israel's retaliatory ground and air campaign has killed more than 31,500 people. According to the health ministry in Hamas Ran Gaza, Israel said it has killed at least 13,000 Hamas members in the Gaza fighting. I do not know whether the negotiations in Doha are going to bear fruit. I still hope that there will be an immediate humanitarian ceasefire. I hope the hostages will be released, said Dr. Balakrishnan during his doorstop. But I do not know how close or when that will occur. But my sense of it now is that I do not think this conflict is over yet. You may get temporary interludes but I think we have to be prepared that this may go on. For now, all eyes are on Rafa. The last refuge in Gaza for more than a million displaced people and where Israel believes Hamas militants are hiding. Israel's Prime Minister Netanyahu said on Tuesday that he has turned down a request from US President Joe Biden to call off a planned ground assault on Rafa. Asked about Singapore's stance on the possible Rafa operation, Dr. Balakrishnan said, We are deeply concerned that this offensive, or planned offensive, into Rafa will have a significant impact on the people who are currently clustered in that area. We have expressed that concern. Dr. Balakrishnan also explained that Singaporeans need to understand the importance of engaging across the board and that Singapore cannot afford to duck and cover. We need to face the world as it is. We need to be able to convey our position accurately, not in a provocative way, but clearly and unambiguously, he said. On whether Singapore's real ties will be affected if Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu refuses to bow down to international pressure. Dr. Balakrishnan said that we will have to see what happens. He said, in the end, he is the man who has to make the decisions for Israel. We are not the leaders of Israel. 
he is accountable to his people. And he will also be accountable for the consequences. We hope for the best, but we also have to be prepared that this is yet another recurrent bout of violence in a very troubled part of the world. He added. In its news release on Wednesday, MFA said Dr. Balakrishnan highlighted Singapore's support for a negotiated two-state solution, consistent with the relevant United Nations Security Council resolutions, during his visit. This is the only viable pathway towards a comprehensive, just and durable peace between Israelis and Palestinians, said MFA. Singapore will continue to work with regional partners, including Jordan and Israel, to facilitate the Republic of Singapore Air Force's RSAF airdrop mission to deliver humanitarian aid to Gaza. Dr. Balakrishnan leaves Israel on Wednesday for the United Arab Emirates. He will also visit Egypt and Saudi Arabia as part of his trip to the Middle East. He is accompanied by a delegation that includes five members of parliament, Mr. Alex Yam, Ms. Nadia Ahmad Semdin. Ms. Rachel Ong, Mr. Zalkanan Abdul Rahim and Workers' Party MP Gerald Jayam. During his visit to Ramallah on Monday, Dr. Balakrishnan updated the Palestinian leaders on Singapore's humanitarian assistance to Gaza, including its third tranche of aid and a donation of 6.1 million Singapore dollars collected by the Romitan Lil Alamin Foundation for the United Nations Relief and Works Agency for Palestinian refugees in the Near East.